Quick revision video on the benzene reaction pathways. So first of all, I'm just going to look at the five different conversions that we need to do, what the reagents and conditions would be, and then we'll look at some actual equations. So we'll start by looking at the conversion of benzene to nitrobenzene. So that's where you substitute a hydrogen on the benzene ring for an NO2 group, a nitro group. So to do that, you would react the benzene with concentrated nitric acid in the presence of a concentrated sulfuric acid catalyst and the temperature needs to be kept between 50 and 55 degrees C. If you use a higher temperature than that, you run the risk of polynitration where more than one nitro group substitutes and that can be explosive. Next one we'll look at is nitrobenzene to phenylamine. So that's where the NO2 group on the benzene is reduced to an NH2 group. So to do that, you use a reducing agent made from tin and concentrated hydrochloric acid. That's done under reflux and sodium hydroxide is used to remove any excess acid. The third conversion we'll look at is benzene to a halobenzene. So that's where you substitute a hydrogen on the benzene for a halogen atom. So to do that, you react your benzene with a halogen in the presence of a halogen carrier catalyst. So for example, if you were reacting benzene with chlorine, you could use AlCl3 or FeCl3 as your catalyst. So the fourth one we'll look at is benzene to alkyl benzene, and that's where you substitute the hydrogen atom on the benzene ring for an alkyl group such as methyl, ethyl, propyl, etc. So to do that, you react your benzene with the relevant haloalkane so, for example, if you wanted to put a propyl group onto your benzene ring, you could use chloropropane, for example. So, in terms of catalysts, so if you're using a chloroalkane, you would use aluminium chloride catalyst. And that needs to be done under reflux. And the final conversion we'll look at is benzene to phenylketone. And to do that, you would react your benzene with an acyl chloride, aluminium chloride catalyst, and that's done under reflux. So moving on to some specific reactions, so we'll start with benzene to nitrobenzene. So the equation for that reaction looks like that. Nitrobenzene to phenylamine looks like this. So we need six moles of reducing agent per NO2 group that's reduced. Benzene to bromobenzene looks like that. So because we're using bromine, we need AlBr3 or we could use FeBr3 as our catalyst. Benzene to methylbenzene looks like this. So we're using chloromethane to get the methyl group and we need AlCl3 as the catalyst. And finally, benzene to phenylethanone looks like this.